that's not good. Okay, hopefully it will never come to that. But according to a study recently published in Earth and Planetary Science Letters, a huge deep Earth area around the size of Mexico has been mapped by seismic sensors and could cause environmental damage in the near future. This area of molten carbon covers 700,000 square miles and is part of the upper mantle of the Earth's interior, which is the region where solid carbonates melts and produces CO2 and other gases. All that is roughly 217 miles miles beneath the Earth's surface in western US. This study conducted by Royal Holloway University in London said the researchers used 583 seismic sensors to measure the Earth's vibrations to create a picture of the area's deep subsurface. They believe that the CO2 in the Earth's upper mantle is estimated to be at around 100 trillion metric tons. Now if you compare that to the global carbon emission in 2011, which was only around 10 billion metric tons, that's 10 thousand times as much CO2, which makes us question just how much carbon the Earth really has. The region of molten carbon is dangerous because volcanic eruptions will cause the reservoir to make its way to the surface. And according to lead researcher Dr. Sash here Madrumder, but one important mechanism by which carbon sinking to the mantle via a subducting oceanic plate can make its way back to the surface is by arc volcanism. Arc volcanism returns between 30 to 40 percent of the total subducted carbon back into the atmosphere. Atmosphere. The remaining carbon stays in the mantle for much longer. The discovery of this massive lake of molten carbon has implications for our future atmosphere because 1% of all the CO2 from the molten carbon is already equal to the burning of 2.3 trillion barrels of oil. And since the surfacing of the molten carbon is caused by volcanic eruptions, we're gonna have to keep an eye out on Yellowstone because that's one of the places that the molten carbon covers. If you didn't know, Yellowstone has a super volcano that sits on a huge reservoir of molten rock and if erupted, would be a thousand times stronger than the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption, which killed dozens of people and destroyed hundreds of homes. Although it's been dormant for about 70,000 years, uh, scientists say it's still possible for it to erupt, with the chances being 1 in 730,000. But hey, that's still better than Powerball odds. So to quote the New York Lottery tagline, Hey, you never know. Next up, King Tutankhamun's tomb is being investigated once again as Italian researchers want to see if there are actually secret chambers inside the tomb. Little background, Tutankhamun was an 18th century dynasty pharaoh who inherited the throne at a young age. Although his reign was short-lived, he is now one of Egypt's greatest icons because of his royal tomb. His tomb is located in the Valley of the Kings and is one of the best preserved royal tombs ever discovered. It was hidden for 3,000 years Years and was only discovered in 1922. Now researchers at the Polytech University of Turin plan to scan the tomb again with state-of-the-art radar scanners in order to see through 32 feet of solid rock and possibly find a hidden chamber or two. Now this whole looking for secret chambers into the comet's tomb has been done before. This is actually the 13th group of people who have attempted to do so and they believe they will also be the last group of people by making sure they scan with 99% accuracy. And maybe they will be the last group of people because 13th attempt? Um, yeah, it doesn't sound too good. Anyway, in 2015, radar scans from another group of researchers showed that there was a great possibility of two hidden chambers inside the tomb. But soon after that, another scan was made by National Geographic Society, which didn't show any sign of hidden chambers at all. Because of all the scanning and investigation of the royal tomb, Egypt's antiquity manager pretty much banned any sort of digging in that area. And now two years later, the hunt begins again. The Italian researchers will begin their radar scan later this month and the project could take anywhere from a few days to many weeks. But let me ask you guys, looking for secret chambers in a famous mummy's tomb? The new mummy movie coming out? Coincidence? Also, if there are secret chambers in this tomb, I mean, they're secret for a reason, right? Maybe let's not go mess with that. But let me know what you think. Super volcano apocalypse, the mummy apocalypse, which one do you think has a greater possibility of happening and uh, which do you prefer? I mean, a massive volcanic eruption sounds pretty terrifying, but so does being invaded by millions of undead, unkillable ancient Egyptian soldiers. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you.